the, the one and only Abba Khalid. Oh, Abba the one and only yes. of Abba. Founded by Abba Ayale, what we like. Oh, it's a spread, it's spread. We give thanks, I like that. Because did you know that he was in the house right now? We, I think he's uh, having a problem with network. Yeah, he's, he's actually in, he's, he's in Mabupani, that's the thing. So he sent me the link this morning. Oh, so, okay, all right. He sent so me the link, so I thought, ah, let me join. But yeah, he's yeah, in Mabupani, I know the network is very bad there. So I'm sure you yeah, 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 he was in. in. I hope he, I'm hoping he can come in because there are some insights. I wanted to start with him and, Mo, and Mohaile, in fact, mm -hmm. for them to give us a little bit of groundwork so that we can uh, uh, work on uh, those things, like specifically the burial uh, rituals and the rituals that happen after uh, one has passed away. Uh, what are the things that Africans do? So uh, thank you, everyone, for holding space with us. Uh, uh, Mankos, can we just begin? Do you want to start? Do you want to say something maybe in the beginning? Or... No, 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 Mkulu. <laughs> we can okay. proceed. Uh, uh, I think we are live as well. We are live on Facebook now. Oh, um, okay. Yes. I am underneath a tree. So, I am the network. I wonder if the tree you are standing in is a ganja tree or is it a peach tree or... Benches. It's a name <laughs> tree. It's a name tree. I knew it was some yes. kind of healing tree. Name is very powerful. <laughs> very powerful. And we don't, there are no useless trees, but uh, we know that there's some trees that have more potency than others, uh, depending on our knowledge. So um, um, I would like to start us off by giving us a little bit of a scenario. We, it can be the uh, same as uh, our brothers and sisters go greater empire of Kemet and others who hold this Kemetic, uh, uh, how can I say, Kemetic tradition, you know. It comes in different forms, different aspects. People have different calendars. Some have the, what they call the Osarian calendar. Some use the exact Tendera calendar, like our brothers in the, what they call it, Africa Center, there in Gabon and Cameroon. Uh, and all over the world because they have centers all over the world. So the calendars are different. So don't be dismayed when we say we are observing nept head season, while others would say they are observing het heru season, or others may say it's tehuti season, or others may say these uh, are th th these are, are, are forces, natural, divine uh, forces that uh, uh, we share. Uh, and because we are in different settings, we are in different parts of the equator, different parts of the world, uh, 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 we observe uh, uh, the, these schematic traditions in, in, in different ways, you know. Uh, I'm giving that background on purpose because uh, even last night I was watching, I won't be long, but last night I was watching a documentary based in Nigeria. Uh, uh, these Nigerians, the topic of the, doc, of the, of the podcast was... Uh, is Kemetic uh, spirituality uh, uh, superior to other forms of African uh, spirituality? At first, I found the question very uh, annoying because I don't know any serious Kemetic, uh, a person who observed that Kemetic tradition who, who has ever stated that, oh, this one is actually superior to Nigerian spiritual uh, system or to Isisulu or, for, or uh, Sipedi or, or any, 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 any form on CBD or, or, or the Orisha or, or, or whichever, you know? Uh, so I've never heard anyone attesting that, oh, this one is superior because it is written and that one is inferior because it's oral and it's a, a, a blah, 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 those, the, the, those different uh, kind of arguments. But they went in, I'm giving this as a background, they went in and generally, even though I didn't finish, it was a two hour conversation. It, it, one of the conclusions was that uh, Kemetic spirituality finds its roots and its influences mostly, if not 90% from Africa. But then it was also observed, and it is this, Baba Ayale would, 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 would agree to this, or maybe you would add more to this, uh, because he's been speaking about it a lot lately. Uh, Ama Kemetic spirituality had, at certain points, was captured by what they call Hellenism, uh, Platonism, Ama Greek, Ama, 
Ama Greek, Ama Roman, all those people that had colonized our African ancestors in that area. So that state of capture, I would like us to discuss the issue of death and notions of ascension and burial rights. With that in mind, keeping in mind that a lot of the things that we do even today, whether it's Ngabanguni, whether it's Ngabasutu, whether it's Ngabatswana, a lot of the things that we do at death and the many ways in which we are, the many approaches we have of death have been co-influenced by, had been influenced also by uh, the traditions we learn either from Christianity or from Roman paganism or from the West commercialism, capitalist imperialist systems and all those things. Uh, so I would like us to keep that in mind. And lastly, I was telling Mankos this morning, uh, when we speak of Neptet, of which season we are in, Uneptet, uh, we always call it Iwele Liga Liga Oset, Ukoko U Aset, who is usually depicted sometimes as Nom Kubuluan uh, in the uh, Nguni uh, cosmology, or is uh, depicted as Nom Hoi. We find that these are two entities, spiritual entities, that serve generally similar purpose. Is speaking about the goddess of rain, water of rain, water and uh, 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 harvesting and fertility in the fields. Uh, and when we, but when we speak of Neptune, we're talking about Ukoko, Oshala Emanzini, the one who helps uh, 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 with, the, with, with the rituals of deep water underground, whether it's sea water, river water, Nasas uh, in But again, Nom Kubla Mutole is Dabin. But again, no Neptune, I mean, um, Nomhoi, Mutola, Emanzini, Mutola Guma rituals, Amantombazane, Okulisa, Amantombazane, and things like that. So I don't I know that there are equivalents within each and every African culture uh, practice, spiritual practice, of all these entities that when you go to Ethiopia, you will find a different name. If you go to uh, Burkina Faso or Gabon, you will find a different name. Uh, you go to Nigeria, you'll find a uh, oh Coco, Abanye, oh oh ya, oh Bani, oh 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 ya. You know they are dealing with water, they are dealing with rituals, they are dealing with death, they are dealing with what happens after death. Their rituals are dedicated to them, but what we are dealing with is the human body, and the functions of the human body in the living land and also in the land uh, of the dead, right? So I would like us to keep those kind of things in mind as we speak. Not to say that we are saying one practice is superior and the other one is inferior. So maybe Moji, let's start with Moji since Umkulu is struggling with his uh, connection. I can see he's, he keeps trying to connect, but he's struggling. Uh, Emoji, give us your perspective. Yeah, give your five to, five to seven minutes perspective. We'll keep, keep going back and forth. Yes. So, you see the item of death when I'm cool is as per our, <laughs> our mythology. It's a yes. it's 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 necessary. Death is a necessary item in our in our life. That is why in our languages, for example, Kasisutu, when a person passes on, we will say Ushoka hates it, right? Mm. So Ushoka hates it. They were they were needed elsewhere, right? And who's also guessing guessing Guni city who's she le? Yeah, in in the in the various languages we say different things, but many of those things we phrases we say leads mm. to that the person was necessary elsewhere. So meaning that Irolia Bolana has been played, and then. Mm. They had to move on elsewhere. So that is the mm. first thing we need to understand that death is not, although it has been packaged and sold to us as tragedy and and all of those yeah. things, it, it is mm. it is very much a necessity in our in our in our in our customs, right? Mm. And when a person passes on, there are certain key items we need to see through, right? It is very important as um, Ubuntu that we that is trans um, meeting from one sphere to another that 
the name is right. There is such a thing as a wrong name in a person's life. There is a necessity that we bury a person with a correct name because in the other realm, the names we use are reflected on the other side. And there are instances when they already have our correct name on the other side, but we use a wrong one this side. Mm. So mm. it would be tragic if we bury you with that wrong name. Mm. So it is very important to first get the naming right in your burial, right? That's the one part. Mm. And there is a particular animal that we need to send with you to the other side. The reason mm. we slaughter in our burial, it is because the animal carries certain responsibilities in the transferring of the soul from this realm to the next. That is the first item. And another item of, of, of the animal is that Les kumba, we use as isamba, isimbato or isambato, seaparo. We need to clothe you with a gear for the next realm. And that would be the hide from this animal. You would see that when we bury little children, we would put a goat down. And when we, you know, when it's an older person, in Como, you know, a bull or a cow, and those things. So there's that item as well. The name, then Isiloni, that needs to happen. Now, another item we need to pay attention to is when we plant the body that has perished into the ground. One of the requirements is that they must, we must face the body in a particular direction. Like, like when we lay the body down, it must be in such that when, when, when the head raises, it must face the West. That's where comes the mythology of Ushonile. Ugushona means setting of the sun. So you have left us to the city of the dead. If you read ancient Kemetic uh, mythology, the city in the West, was where we put the dead. That is why that bark uh, that carried the dead uh, shuttled from the east of the Nile to the west of the Nile. The city in the west was we, where, where we believed our souls went to. That is why it is very important. We don't just lay a body in any direction. There's a particular direction that it needs to face. That is why males are, when you're still alive, you're not allowed to sleep in a particular direction because that is a direction reserved for the dead, right? That's, that's the one item that we, we, we attend to. Another item which I wanna you know, close with for this session is the place. You see, we don't just bury people anywhere. People of African descent must be buried in the land of their ancestors. There's a particular requirement regarding that because when in the, in the morning period, which we'll discuss more in the, in the next session of Ascension, we are allocate a particular period of time to the body for decomposing. Now, the body needs to decompose and we know that that takes about between seven or so months to a year, depending on how old the person was and all of those things. And only after then, in hopefully in the land of your ancestors, you have now become one with the ground. That is where Abba Pansi come from, Bafasi. Mm -hmm. If you have not been allowed to decompose, you are no, you're not yet Abba Pansy. Hence, then we can only then allow you to ascend after that time. So mm. that are key items we look at during burial. And I mean, that's just a, 
the, 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 the logistical part of this of, of this of this discussion you know when you want to come into the realm of the gods in terms of what happens you know that there's the judgment hall that whole scene that umkulun singiza has on his wall as godreni you know there would be uanpu in that scene there would be u um uh umaad there would be uh, Isis is in the mix. And as you just said now, Uneptet is also in that mix. So that is whole, that is that, that is a, a, a whole entire discussion in itself. So <laughs> depending uh, on how um, much time we have, we can go no, into thank that. You. So, but, thank you. so um, it's um, quite um, a big uh, subject, this when I'm cool. And I just want to limit my current intro to that part, you know, the logistics around our burial here on earth. So that is where mm -hmm. I'll close it. And then, uh, yeah, if there are other, if there are questions from other platforms, people will just then note and then we'll discuss in the Q&A session. Okay. Talk also. Uh, Ukambi has a uh, hand up. Mankosi, speak, please. Talk also in Mkulu. I just wanted Mkulu uh, Mkhaile Oguti, he must also include in his list uh, the concept of 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 death in the African um, in African cultures, you know, um, and I and I say this because um, I'm I'm listening to the words that he uses, and and how we as black people don't recognize death as being the end, you know, the end or and be it, you know. The, the it's it's almost like a transformation of some sort yes. and hence he speaks of also about ascension so just a, 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 a also include the 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 definition of the con or, or, or or the concept of death in the african in african spirituality so was it so was it, you know just quickly to respond on that if if you if you if you caught me earlier in my intro i went on to say in our languages, when we say you are gone now, you are dead, you have perished, the body has ceased to function. Kakasi Sotu will say, Utroka hates. So Utroka hates, the etymology speaks about you having been necessary elsewhere now. So that speaks to you having done the role that you had been allocated here. Now your role in the other realm being imminent like you are required there now guessing good you will say uh, you know it, it, it is it is death is not tragic in our belief systems it is not a surprise it's well it's a surprise because you know we never really know when you're going, but we know you're gonna go. And, uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a process in any timeline. We know death as a necessity. Death needs to happen, and it's not the end. It is now the beginning of a new chapter of a person's journey. You know, but yes, we will go into that more when we just when we start talking about the ascension period, where where, where you know. I just wanted to focus my discussion now on the burial um, as, as, as as a people, and then we 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 eat we, we bite into that a bit, and then exchange on that, and then we will go more on that now also in the, the ascension part of the discussion, because there are two sections of a discussion. So was I, like, no, uh, I would like to touch when you are speaking about this. Uh, are we not perhaps overly romanticizing uh, death when we do not touch on mourning, grief, uh, 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 the process of um, the emotional aspect, so to speak. Uh, the aspects that you're speaking about are not untrue, and they are entirely true. This, I would say, not on a theoretical level, on a, or a cultural uh, the cultural basis for everything you said, you said is there. But in the lived reality that we are in, 
when someone close to you passes, or even someone that you know, just like today, we wanted to give a, a bit of a homage to our sister, Enyarai, uh, uh, who just passed away, who was part of Ikambi session, uh, can be uh, 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 the movement, you know? So, and she's a doctor, a homeopathic doctor in, uh, in Zimbabwe. She just passed away recently, a few days ago. And the, 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 we are paying respects to her uh, through this session also and carrying on the work, of course. But perhaps it's a stage, it's a stage of conversation. It touches also on the stage that you have already raised, which okay, we're gonna talk about ascension. My question, I've asked two questions. What about mourning, grieving and comforting? What place does it play in African cosmology and African traditions? And then when you talk about ascension, and, and bringing a person uh, from, you know, there's this, this thing, Utumundu died in a particular place, but we are land, he's fetched using a particular tree, particular yeah. branch, shrub from a tree. We are land where they have died. Let's say you died at work or you died at, on the road. There's a ritual that talks about taking that spiritually, from that place and being brought back home. It's a different ritual from the one that you are perhaps speaking about. Was after the composition, after being part of the earth, then we have Uiswa, Uzoba Ekai. But now, so it, I said it's two questions. So that one has to relate also with, I want my question now is this. There's that being brought up from the Duat, from the land of the, of the dead, from the Westerners, you know, from the setting sun, being brought to your house, being brought home, and then there is, is, is there another ascension? And what would that as kind of ascension look like according to Amasigo Esintu in the Southern Hemisphere? Maybe you can juxtapose them with what happens in the in the in the in Kukuma, in, in Kemet and all that, in Kush and all those places. But do we have an ascension ritual and an ascension tradition in southern africa an ascension beyond your home you know you ascend from below to above the earth to, up, to, to to the earth and then is there an ascension from your home elsewhere is there heavens so to speak is there a star home for the soul uh, perhaps uh, Mohail, before you answer uh, can i ask if anybody has any knowledge of that beyond just our home. Uh, Mohaile will enter in, uh, in, in into this too soon, but I would like just uh, anybody else. Uncle, can you please repeat start. the question again? Uh, uh, Paul, can you please repeat the question? After assessing your seaway from the grave to our home, into our home, our physical home here, Ekai, is there any other ritual in the Southern Hemisphere traditions that has to do with being raised to another place above just your home? Like, for example, in the Kemetic, they speak about becoming a star, you know, and in the, in, in the Yoruba, they also speak about becoming part of the elements in the space, you know, and looking over your, 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 your family or your descendants and things like that. Is there such a thing amongst us uh, uh, in, as Abantu. Can we speak of such a ritual of ascension, which, has, which, which is not linked perhaps to the thematic? Am I clear? Is that question clear? Yeah, you can speak, Makos. Eh? Um, um, I think your question is quite clear. It's very, very clear. And um, I will, I will, I'll put in my two cents. Um, and I'm in no way claiming that um, I am an expert in this. God, <laughs> like, um, I will share my two cents in terms of you, what you, what you, what you just asked. Um, so, based on my understanding, when I get me, there's, there's, there's different. Um, 
uh, phases that a, a, a person goes through. So kulmengo kushula in terms of ubuiswa ekaya ubewa imslam. There's also, in in my understanding as well, is that there's also the ones who, if you have not completed what you needed to do in this realm, there are those who actually come back through um, the, 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 the gifted ones. Well, actually, I think I don't want to, I don't want to use that term because I believe everybody in general, but in a sense that uma uhamba uyotwas you know, uh, certain ancestors come back through you and they get to complete their work. And I think that is also another form of ascension in, 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 in itself, because a person also get embedded to Itongo or Itonga, that's a, like, I hope I'm using the correct terminology, you go through initiation processes and, 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 and in the end, um little tonga little it gets that ancestor gets to come back and complete the work i think it's it, it goes beyond just the ubuiswa imsam now I, I i don't know if i'm articulating this correctly i don't know are you able to understand where i'm going with this so goes a go i can understand but i would like uh, someone else to chime in uh, abba is here uh, abba uh, can you unmute your mic and say something to us? Abba? Silo Samans? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't realize that he's muted. Oh, okay, he's talking. Yes, okay. he's talking. Being such a social network, so now I'm back. Okay, I want to can take the just, opportunity uh, while you're on. Or well, the question is, the question is, a uh, degrees of Ugunyuswa. How many degrees of Ugunyuswa or Kushulwa are there? I'm talking specifically Southern Hemisphere. I'm not talking Kemetic or Greek or anything else. I am talking in the Southern Hemisphere in your knowledge and practice. What at Kukune degree of Glandwa where you have died? Glandwa Nishasha. There is a word for it. Glandwa where you passed away. They say you died a car accident, whatever. Or wherever you died in hospital, how do they go as to a, a point where they use this branch? Another one, that's uncle's no more is a different kind of uh, tree. There's different trees. I think Uncoco knows it from what has spoken about them. But Uglando, we let you a kind. We're going to Kushulu after a couple of months. Is there an ascension beyond mm -hmm. your home or beyond them somewhere? We were saying, okay, you're going to have a guy. Death in itself is a ritual. It is not a final, it is not a finality, it is not the end of life. It is not a full stop, so to say. It in itself it's a it's a ritual. Now this ritual has rites of passage, which are equivalent to the rites of passage that Umuntu goes through in life. Umuntu magazalwa uyabigo. Then Umuntu magasho uyangwat. Bese Umuntu uyakuliswa. Then oba engwachi wege uya kachwa. Uya hanji iswa laikaya. Meaning now, after a certain period of time, umele gube nomsebe nzo wenzi wayo na ikai. Angaz no man sasu wakalana. Togo zile mkulu sasu wakalana. Okay. Maga ketu mwacho, after a period of time, lo muntu loyo, umele akashwe. Na ugu kachwa logoge, uyasu suwa guizwe laba pilayo. A ritual is performed to take that person over the void to the other side, to the land of the living now. Because to during that period, before that ritual is performed, that person is either earthbound, 
meaning that ubambe gile la emshabeni gune zinto ezinga tetuanga gune zinto ezinga nziwanga nshaumpege singati kwele there are debts that need to be paid before the transition can be made after those debts are paid the transition is therefore made we are cash or get low moon to ukashelwa emma tongwin maga figanga leg emma tongwin he needs to be reintroduced as itongo gemanje no longer as a human being obega pilem shabin later on uba ne ritual yobu buiswa now maga buiswa ekaya gemanje ubuya sega itongo lo muntu loyo ubuya ke manje seka ithongo an influential entity in the family angazi noma ngisazwakala na tokoza ke le sakuzo all right now that influential entity becomes what in colloquial european language would be called a family god or a family deity Sekutelwa guye egizi into, seku pashwa guye, seku kulunywa na ye inkinga za laikaya. Ngoba ye na eza kinkinga, se za petwa za lungi iswa. Now, lo muntu lo yoge, agie na lababantu abatwa selwa yo, agie na lababantu abatupa bantu nga matongo belele, uguti nkelu yong landa gupi, ye nyakotola gupi, ye intwe tize ayenzi wanga. Labo bantu ba ketiwe. Segu matongo. Na obaya buiswa ekaya. Uguti bazo ba ama influential entity la ekaya. Ama tongo apila yo wekaya. After a certain period of time. Loyo muntu loyo. Bese uya kushulu age manje. A ritual is performed. Kushache lwa inkomo. A cow has to be slaughtered. Leo nkomo leyo, iya mkupu la age manje, imfaga kwi 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 zinga, kwi 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 rielem, ya matongo ama kulu, ge manje, which are now more than family ancestors, they become national ancestors. Ila ba ke uzo uzo abati ama kosi. Angaz noma sise sonke na, very clear. Very clear. Now, Labo Bantu are responsible for the nation on a higher level now. As guardians of nation. leaders, guardians of kings, guardians of healers, guardians of everybody who is responsible on a national level. Uh, is there, okay, one, one question before you, Yabona Mankos. Uh, one question, and I'm going to hand over to Mahayde also continue from where yeah, you man. left. I would like to ask, about, when you talk about national ancestry, it's a very uh, topical uh, 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 question. Um, is there a, well, someone asked me, in fact, last week on, on my WhatsApp, Uti, ukona inum samuwe siizwe. Now, at first I, I made, I wanted her to define what, what does she mean by siizwe. When you say itonga le siizwe, are you talking about the nation, ama Zulu, ama Tosa, ama, as like for example, we Namane, we know we don't have a, a, a polity where we have a place with Pola is his way, but we are a nation by, by mere fact, we see us as we are to see us and all that. We are a nation, I mean, Nishina Gamasek, Konishina Gatulu, Konia Bangale, Konamakasibe, even Namakasibe have different names within them. But what do you mean by nation? And if you can define that nation, and then can you also define a umsamu we sizo? Kono umsamu umde. Kona in umsamu we sizo, whereby there is a channel through which you speak to the ancestors of the nation, amatongo of the nation. Or is that something done individually by their family members? Is it hongo only for the family? But now since we are raising the issue of national one, you know, a, how do you approach them and for, 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 for which kind of uh, uh, challenges? Can you, ask, uh, can you approach them for ESCOM problems or for agricultural problems or for, uh, for national greed uh, or, 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 or the fact that you see Zanjan Zamapun? Can you approach them for problems of national import? 
Please put that, uh, mark that, and just let Mankosi speak something and then you can uh, you can add, please. Mankos. Uh, can he answer? Because it's I, I'm I'm raising a few questions from Facebook and myself in addition, and I think it will just derail the direction of the conversation right. if I let's yeah if I raise these questions now. Can I please take your questions after him and Mohaile speak? So the question you will So what's that about? The national question, the national Tongo question. Where are they? What are they? What kind of question, what kind of problems are brought to them? Or challenges, questions. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to ask Mohaile to come through, but let, 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 let me give him uh, a few seconds. We have to give a uh, him a bit of a courtesy there. Is okay, I don't think I don't think he can hear you, Kulu. Oh, Kusa Gang is okay. Um, oh, Pian and Bona Bona. All right, my Nang is what we can we can proceed. I think he may have lost connectivity. Um, we oh, can okay. uh, bookmark Mote. the question and we then bookmark. uh, when he comes back, um, we can pick up from there. All right, wonderful. Moji. So, so the, to, to address your question, yeah, I'm going to use now our Anunian mythology. Uh, I think it's going to be simpler to explain it from that perspective. Excuse me, for us who don't know what Anunian means, what are you talking about? What is okay. Anunian? <laughs> okay, I apologize. I apologize. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when we refer to an Indian mythology, we're referring to a belief system that we carried from ancient Kemet. So Bo Osa, Bo Isis, Bo Anpu are all under an Indian mythology. Now, to address your questions regarding uh, the national Matongos, ne? I want yeah. to use the Inuit. We have in the, the Council of Nine. Yes, we have in the in the human level, we have got O Asa, O Isis, Bo Boset. Heru, Boset, Bo Neptet, and others, right? And when we talking human businesses, human affairs, the human resource issues, that is the level of Amatongo we are dealing with on the other side, right? And that is when after I, bo, the bearing of the body and then bo, ugubui, swago, wetong and other things, we are still playing in that league, right? When all of that league is settled, we elevate our soul into the level above that rank. We go to bo, 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 bo shu, bo tefnut, Bo Geb, Bo. The creator, the creator beings. The creator beings, the, the star level, uh, okay. where people can be involved in discussions regarding the resources that happens below. What human, what, what human beings need? What's going to happen on Earth when, what, you know, things like Ikukula and Natal, things like those are discussed and resolved. At that level, we don't go to Namanet house and speak to your dad and, and tell him Kukoni Kukula Lai Natal. No, no, no. <laughs> it comes, it is discussed and, and negotiated at that level. Yabo Shu, Bo Tefnut, Bo. You are saying there's a hierarchy to Amato. There, there is a hierarchy. And then from that, even from that level, we then go above where you find Bora, Bochehuti, and the rank that discusses the level below and then the level below there. And that's the, in, in my exit point on this one when I'm cool. Not everybody goes to it that happens. level. 
there are people chosen la mtabeni and it is a very special feel that you have got the likes of perhaps a very simple example i need to use now could be ubabu credo for example people like uh, perhaps or maybe you could say mandela and the likes <laughs> there, there are beings that would go to that level if you want to mirror that thing here on earth Nkulu, in the older system of empires the Maravzi Empire, the Mwene Mutapa Empire, the Mapungubu Empires. Those empires were responsible for discussing matters that would happen at the, at the king level. And then the kings would discuss matters that would happen at the chief level. So mm. there is that hierarchy and this system is mirrored above. What happens on earth does occur in heaven as well what is okay. below so above so yes there are levels of ascensions but not everybody qualifies to go a level above these ones of humans okay i will hold i will hold my comment on that one because in funu was because of their position here on earth or is it because of their condition of their soul or the condition of their beliefs yeah, but, yeah I mean, if, if, if he died, if he died an Anglican, for example, he does still <laughs> ascend to a national, uh, to the national hierarchy of Abengun, or if he died a Roman Catholic facing Rome. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but I'm now like, Babu said we, I'm, 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 I'm going to raise this as a question. I'm going to raise this okay. as a, a follow-up okay. question. After Mankos, you tell us right now. Abba, you are back. Please uh, respond. And then we we'll go to the rest of the Brothers and sisters, are you there? Uh, Tolosi Namkulu, we lost him again. Mm. No, uh, we went again. Okay. Yes, we All lost right. him again. So he's going to reconnect. OK, um, you, you take, take those questions that you have and okay. comments. So there's a question here on Facebook. Um, I think this speaks to an earlier um, sh uh, uh, sharing that was done by a uh, brother Moji. Uh, where, where, when he spoke about the slaughtering of the cow. So the question is from Mokang Mokedi or Mokeli. I'm not very good. I hope I'm not butchering um, somebody's surname, Ningkolele, uh, if I am. So the question is Is it necessary for everybody to, uh, that when they die, that a cow be slaughtered or an animal be slaughtered? Is it uh, only reserved for grandparents, elders? How does that work? And then my question personally was, uh, it was for Umkulu um, um, when he spoke about the different levels of um, ascension. And I hope that uh, in his absence that uh, there will be somebody who may have knowledge um, or hopefully that he's also back. Um, where we ask, I ask Wuti, okay, he spoke about the different uh, rituals that need to be performed at each stage of ascension, um, where you get you ascend from being, uh, you, you ask, you, uh, there's a ritual that is performed when you, when you, when you are born and then you go, you, you go through the different rites of passages, and when you when you pass away, there's a the specific rituals that are performed there. And when you are now an ancestor, or are now in the other realm, we are we are and and and. But now I wanted to understand the intervals, like do, like how, how do we then because there's there's a break in terms of the knowledge um, that we have us as African children. Or would see when at which phase do we now perform these rituals? We are shown I'm not I pass away. And um okay, after six months when I'm now one with the earth, okay, after what what month? Like, I just wanted to understand that process <laughs> in terms of timelines. Yes, in terms of timelines, okay, because right. it might be that he says and we are missing specific rituals that should have, that we should be performing or things that we should be doing for our ancestors. But due to the lack of knowledge, we are not doing those things. All right. So Thank you for that. That's very good. Tell us. Uh, Abba? 
I see you. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm not sure if you can start from my end with the cocos, but you know, you like to pick it. Yeah, I think oh, um, it's it's your, your question and cocos question can be tied together. Okay. Now we have a password I think also if we if we switch off our videos, maybe it would help in yes. terms of connectivity. I didn't get that. She's saying switch, let's switch off our videos so that we can have more network. That's all she said. But uh, yeah. Not yeah, just called. speak up your I video. I think that would be better. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Your question first, or Coco's question first. It's either they, they can they can be tied together. Now, it tongue or this is what. Uh, I, I I got cut off when uh, another speaker, Lana Bega Kuluma, at the kings and uh, leaders, and uh, there were examples made like Abu Credo Moto, Abu Abu Mandela, Abu Eskian Patel, Abu Tidia, people who are dealing with the nation on a, a national level. And then there are people who are responsible for people on a family level. <coughs> now, the period between them and Kusulawaki is done. All it has to do with their personal. Journey. They have to go through a healing process. And that healing process, unfortunately, is going to be passed on. Yeah, man, I'm back now. Nyang is Who's on You said that if, if it did not do the yeah, things man. when he was still alive, you would have said that when Now, who's the M20? Um, to a name, um, to a coco, um, pupum cool. We are sugar low moon to num den. By am tata bam senya in yang am I kitamatam, we bona guparama laban. Now, laban. What happens is I, when Unejo happens to Logaba poop, what happens is Ushairis Coop, Ukumege Lomuntu Lo, Loko, Colom, Kul, Loma Lume, Asho, Gemina, Emina, 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 Unkeluqua in Peme, I mean Abenkela Utua Langpuse. I mean, I've been telling in, 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 in. Now, a mistake here to get Zinyanga is that Sikrina Sim Twasi Sella, Sim Twasa, Lomun to Loyal Lom to Al. Sikrina Sim Bizanet Lococo, Sim Bizanet Lomculu. Who is still in a state of confusion, who is still in a state of transition, who is still in a state of correction, yeah, in interacting in physical things. Very important point. I.e. Uchwala, I.e. Inyama, 
i.e. into zokpasha, sibeki zinto msamo, sisiti sibegela amajozi. No, we are actually putting those things there for entities that we are not even aware of their existence. And then, masipasha sikela, izinto zingenzeki ngalendlele sifuna ngazo, orbe sifisa ngayo. City Amajosa wa Penduli or Abom Kula ba Pendul because we are talking to ancestors who are still in a state of confusion. Labanto ba funu chwala, lomuntu sasene attachment yo chwala emshabeni. Labanto ba funu guta, lo sasene attachment yes into zala emshabeni. Ufunuk tungi suelu impasa, ufunuk tore loma pids, ufunuk lande luindugu, ufunuk wenze loa in. Lo muntu sega funuk pila vicariously through you. You cannot trust and depend on an earthbound spirit. Aglo ni tongo lagini lelo. Umuntu wagini otugile. Osafuna ugulungi selwa. And yes. then, sikrina situasi sabantu anababantu for labo bantu uge labo. And then you get amazed ugutumtu anako unge ne petwe ni enga puzu chwala. Maga pume petwe na inyanga sega istagwa. Elele. Unge ne petwe nenga pe mintangu. Mai pume petwe ni sayi pe mintangu. <laughs> manje se kona na ma sexual changes ge manje. Unge nu mfana yeah. upuma u, u, u intomba zana. Because so mkulu. Uh, intomba zana. Unge nu intomba zana <laughs> bati nge nu mkulu. Umkulu bati intomba umfana unge nu ukoko. Now all of these things. They should show you if Ungeno Koko and Ukoko Loyo is still attracted to physical pleasure of sex. That is not a very elevated spirit. Loyo Muntu Senking any Loyo. Usase attached to the pleasures of sex. Now, mm. through your body, Ufunuk fulfiller lentoyake. Akagabilo ni tongo gelelo. I tongo muntu sele ekushuliwe like haya. Mm. Mm. time period. So how do we know the time periods in between the misabins? First of all, from Umwabo, the day of the funeral, if it is done right, within seven days, loyo muntu mele oywan laikaya abeselem pupile. To show uguti laba abangale, bam receivile. The same thing, bamboo is selling kaya uguti bayo kretele lage imisebenzi yake. My figure like kaya uzo figure to one of the family members, whether umtoana or umunto mtalawa like kaya. It has to happen within seven days. If umunto agini aganimpupanga within seven days, you have to go back. Ni pegu guti umnu aboloni wenze njani. Hmm. Iketwe la po aginda. Number two. Mm. In in the abale, we need to have some ten days. No case of a harafu, nanan. Let us into action. Is into. There is no morning period after ugu fango we into. We mourn before umsebe. No ma. Like this. Say as at the end of this month, Kuzobanum Seven Zokshabin of herself for the event. After the event, Funeral. So that 
Moya walo muntu agwazi ugufigela ngale ebantu inabatala bakono gumbuista sizo msebenza. Now, if that is not or you are dead, you are not, so you are neither a human nor you are a ghost. So usafuni zinto zenyama because you are still attached to the material world. Ah. But you no, cannot I... really participate because you are dead. Oh, I see a bonga, see a bonga, see a bonga. I'm cool. I'm going to see a bonga. Can you see a bonga? I think you can name it. Yeah, see a bonga. It's very, very important point. One of my points are raised while I tell you, I think we can all deal with them. And when I start to know, Uzamalek is also in in here. God is here. We like to hear his voice also uh, in the last few minutes that we have uh, in the session. Uh, I'll pass, pass my greetings. Uh, pass my greetings pass to my brother. God. He's, right, he's right there. He's right there. Ah, pass Forma me. Osduba. Mfoe <laughs> tu. Abalicious, Ninja. We are, 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 we um mm. I, I I don't want to leave this 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 question like the, the points that he raised. He he left Umkulu left the question mark, you know, and in yeah. a sense that he spoke about ancestors with Kutwa Twasa and then with Twasila and then yeah. yes. So yeah. which ancestors then would you say that they've now reached a level? This one is they're not f bound they're, they're not they're not elevate they've now elevated to a sense where we are to say like because it, it will Sorry, leave a question mark in a lot of people's brains if, 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 if the question perhaps is how do you identify I'm sorry to say I'm sorry to to, 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 to speak both on top of both of you but for me I got exactly the, the way he was explaining the question the answering, he was answering in such a way that it was actually showing you how to identify people who are asking for earthbound things are actually still earthbound. People who are asking you to do the work that they didn't do. It means that they have not elevated to the Tongo centric level. I like to use the word Tongo centric. They have not reached the level whereby they are actually assisting you with higher and deeper levels of ascension for yourself because they are basically asking for. A, a, a castle milk stout here, or they're asking for Nike or Ipayela or Rupert, for example, or they're asking for, you know, a, a basic things. The, 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 the things that they're asking for, they are not for elevating you as a living entity to another level. But this is just my, my understanding of his answer. But I, I, I don't want him to speak right now. I would like him. To, to maybe to have God speak and then maybe Abba can speak and then Mohaile. We can close with Mohaile's I think and then maybe take a few comments from the, our people. I think Uziza did ask a, a question about people who fell into a hole, into the black hole. I think he's talking about uh, Kimbali. What do you do with people who die in such a way that you cannot fetch them with Ishasha, for example? You know, what happens to those souls? People who die in exile. The, 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 the family cannot go there's questions like that but please can I just ask God to speak and then you can have Uba and then we can have Mahaile and then we can close with uh, uh, the rest of our community I hope I'm not uh, dictating by asking for that uh, God Indoshin, Indoshin. Hey, I didn't want to speak when I'm cool uh, okay, you can speak no. I can give you five minutes and it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, though I would like to allude on what Abba have said. He said um, you are fetching earthly spirit, which is materialism. 
and we understand in spiritual condition, there's a spirit world and there's a material world. If someone is transiting to the uh, spiritual world, they will never need the things of the material. That is obviously and clear aspect in the acute of it, of what is spiritual rituals. And then when we talk about the dead, that's have a simple, what we call different realms. In within the dead, even you can get it in Egyptian understanding in the Anunnaki, the Sumerians, when you go to the dead, it's another realm where it's governed by different particular, what we can say, gods. In this case, where when one goes in into the dead in the Egyptian perspective, they will approach who you call Anpu, and then they will reach to other levels of seeing Semukarani, uh, Kemuruti, Nuberi, all these other gods that has to deal with the realms <clears throat> of that place until they reach the highly great god that will be Asaras, the lord of Rastam. So what I'm saying, it's not a lot, it's just to say about it should somewhere that is accurate and right. And then when we want to talk with people who have been passed away, we don't see them. There's rituals. We have even medicine for that. We have medicine, we have herbs for speaking with the dead. We have symbols of communicating with the dead and we have ways. It doesn't mean if a, a person should be literally here or we should know where did they die. But we can do such things by I different ways called necro rituals, necro seminian, necro ceremonies. So there's a lot of stuff like that, but we can get those stuff in the book that talks about the dead, the ritual and the burial of the dead, according to the Egyptian, written by Sir William Stacey from Britain. And then there's other forms of <clears throat> rituals <clears throat> that we get from us, African, that are purely accurately the same with Egyptian, but different in aspect and understanding. And then that displayed it because of their perspective of what is spirituality in Africa, deep in the uh, core where we are. Let's remember that Egypt is like a city where there was a multi-diversity of different people who came from Asia. Some of them, they're from different places. Let's not go to those politics, but they are from different places since it's next to the Mediterranean seas. So internally in the African lens, that's where you get people who are practicing what we call inland mass of African practice rituals that are from inside the lens of Africa. And they differ. They have highly different perspective of what is the dead. But the same, they have the same allude that there's a different realm in the dead. And in Africa, majority of them, they assume there are nine realms. Like similar to the Egyptian, they say there are nine, but Africans will have different rituals for these nine realms of the dead. And then this wow. goes to Ukupula, Ogum, Genisa, those are um, the realms of the dead. But anyway, thank you, sir. I mm. don't want to say a lot. Uh, you raised very important points. Thank you, God. Mankosi, um, oh, should I have take Mohaide? Togozi, I'm good. No. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, ba, uh, ba and uh, Mohaide, anyone of you can speak right now. Uh, five minutes each, please. Yeah, man. Uh, Okay, Coco, Coco, Kubega, Coco. Been eating pendula when? Ah, been kisha ko namkulu guti niga Kubega. There's no comments from my side. So go see. Okay. So to the Mohai. Stand up, Sam. U u u ngamane u u u u sheshe walibega. Uti umuntu ozo figa atufuna ogwe nyama. And this is how we see the behavior in our communities and in our profession as in young. You hear people now saying, hey, umtuanami azik melatwa se gotwa, azidagwa i nyang azala e kaya. Because now all these people fall into a physical manifestation or a physical expression of this thing because they are influenced by very low level ancestral spirits. Now, everybody has low level ancestral spirits. Sonke. Sonke snabo abantwe kaya abebe kuluma manga. Sonke snabo abantwe makaya abebe dagwa be puzu chwala. Sonke snabo abantwe makaya babe ngalale kaya babe hambe strateni ngaziwa kutiba pelelepi. Now, those people are the very same people who will be the first. I, I, I think you, we, have, we have noticed the song. If citizens um especially when there is not a logi issue or kukwe labantu kona minage, 
Umuntu Asema Plaza, and I don't really have a large crowd of people around me. But I've witnessed Magunom Sebenzi in a place, a public election. The very first people, Abba Zoza Makkali's group, it's these people, Abba Nenkiinga, Mpilu Zabo. Now, if his group is so attractive physically, Labantu Abba Nenkiinga, and Abantu Abba Zelum Komboti, Abantu Abba Zeluchwana Bamaala, Abantu Abba Zelugudla, Abantu Abba Zelinkiinga like Kaya Kasegash. Now, but attract to his group. If it happens below, the same happens above. That is pure African science, as above, so below. Wakala washa is group. The very first ancestors who will be attracted are the very same ancestors who have problems who need to be solved. That's why Omuyuzo Pula la Paatye, Nibonu Koku Koku Yakala, and it is and it is and it is. Agati hambio to a selu coco, Utu coco, Ufunuglung selo leon to leo. You understand? Angas no man as Wagalana. So was it uncool? Yebo cock. So now, Labo Bantu get Labo. What usually happens is a city get Nangume, Umtuana, Ungenile, Uyatwas. These people, for the first six months, Lomunto as a patron, you are going to be dealing with a whole bunch of those ancestors who are lost, who are trying to find a place to sit, who are trying to find direction in life. Lomunto loyo gelelo tosalelo. Uzo timasegu ke tebon ke ke labanto baninkinga. Kane guzo vela itongo lake lelal tosalayo. You understand? Now, no moon to lawyer Uzo Vela late le ekinen. And it's usually confused, but hi, Sek Figumda wa kege manji. Hiya bona gesegaya kula ge manji. Hey, li figi lito zumda. No, no, no. Age numda wa ke loyo. Yonke lento le e solve we during that process. Ekinen kanek zo vela le tong al twasela yoge manji. Lo moon to ong e nine Lo muntu onga funuglungi selwa luto. Lo muntu wa shi iskwa mala. And you'll find that in zokchela age imfisho ye sintu uge. Mape ediba tswana ba sotubar di taola khadiba di mung. That means, umuntu wa shi ya leso zkwa ma, chances are it could have been you. You are just back to claim iskwa masako ukubege no msebenzu wako. Hence the immortality of the African tradition. That's higher level right there. That is like that is the most that is like really, really powerful. The statement that you said. Yeah, it's very profound. Because I I know a person who went through initiation and when the ancestor Came came back, but he ika malase bunyangin. As no, hypothetical. As no, amenzi. There's no ancestral name. Amenzi. Giatwasa amenzi. There is no other name that is going to. Amenum kudu mas. Amenum kudu masalentabe. No. Even though we end up every week. So this, I'm like, I'm I'm having an epiphany based on that. Uh, Coco, let, 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 let me shake your world a bit. Kase gase, umuntu maga twasa. Utwasela yena. Autwaseli dozi. Because now, if umuntu maga twasa, utwasela yena. Autwaseli omunyu muntu. Because now, there is the Christianizing of an African religion. It's called vicarious experience. Uzo pila manje impilo ga koko wako. Uzo funu pila manje impilo ga mkulu wako. How selfish are your parents to want to live their lives through you when they had the chance to live their lives? That is not African. Finish and clap. Moji. There is a child among the money manje. So there was a question that Uko collected, I think from Facebook, they asked if it is necessary to slaughter for everyone or are there specific people that must be slaughtered for? Yes. Good it, is, it is all souls when I go to answer the questions. 
you know, from who miscarriage to abortion, hey, to a man. child passing on to an, to an adult person and to an old person. All souls must be transmitted by some spirit of an animal. There are times when it's a, a two-legged animal can work and then there are times when you require a four-legged animal. Like you'd hear someone say, Bakeza uh, Isisu, after maybe a miscarriage and maybe they'll just get a chicken or two. That would be saving that purpose of slaughtering something in honor of that soul. So there is a necessity of an, a, a spirit animal each time a soul crosses a realm to the next. So that is the answer to that question. And a, a, a very specific answer in your big question where you asked about intervals in between emise bands that, are, that, 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 is, that have got to do Nogufa, uh, Ascension, other things. There's, there's a particular one I want to talk about quickly, Yogu Buisa Umuntu, like uh, after passing we bury our loved one. There is a time that we know that it takes a body of a person to decompose, right? And for children, we have worked it out to be around six or so months. And for adult people, sometimes it takes up to a year. So you, you will see people observe a ritual of a child, Yogubu is the child, just after around six months. And then for older people, they will tend to do it over seven to, to a year, month. So, that particular time is when we are allowing the body of the the body that we have planted on earth to decompose and um, yes that that's the only that's the only real time interval i've come across so yes there's there's that particular time we need because before the body decomposes we cannot observe that ritual so it is it is it is a requirement so to speak that we wait for that long. And I'll leave that answer there and then, yeah. Uh, Togos, uh, thank you for the session today, Makaitla Makosi. And Makosi yeah, cool. we'll discuss no, we in the other thanks. sessions. We give thanks yeah, for your insightful insights. Uh, can I have some closing statements from each, uh, each of us? And even anyone who has not spoken, can I just uh, pause the other brothers and sisters who have spoken, including myself and Makosi and Abba? Uh, does anyone else have anything to say or ask right now? Anyone who's in this, uh, who's participating here? Shubi, Ori, Siza. Do you have anything that you would like to say or ask as we do our closing statements? Noma Shubi, and I see Ori here, the original first king of Ethiopia. Uh, and um, Siza, again, and goes. So, so was I in Wanzabatala? Um, well, not much of a question, but I think for me, it's it's more That's of common. a statement. Uh, I'm very glad that we, we're having these conversations uh, because I think they're much needed. Um, if you go into all your social media platforms, there's so much misunderstanding. So for me, this is like an, an unpeeling that I feel needs to happen. And more than anything, I'm just glad that we, 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 we get into the, to the root of the conversations. We get into uh, CMO, basically, you know? And yeah. just hoping for more discussions like that. Um, instead of Amaso and Do, like I've always says, let's let, let, let this be church. You know, I think for me, that would be great to if we gather on, on Saturdays and have such discussions on a weekly. Um, it's, it's a much needed discussion. So thank you so much, um, for this. Thank you to Hosan and Mangos. All right, we give thanks, we give thanks. Uh, anyone else? I think Ulogus and Usiza just raised the thumb, which means she's fine. She doesn't have anything to say. Uh, Ori, I see your name Ori here. Anything to say, comment? No, I'm just I'm just happy to have participated and to have learned so much. And yes, give I agree with the you. sentiment that we need to do this more often. All right, cool, cool, cool. We give thanks for your participation. 
Um, yeah. May I just ask perhaps Mankosi and then Aba and then Mokhaile and maybe Zamalek. Oh, Zamalek said he doesn't want to speak today, which is okay. Um, Moji and Aba, can you close for us? Okay, Moji, uh, Abba. Oh, Moji is uh, unmuted. Yes. <laughs> so Moji, you've unmuted. So what I want, what I want to close with is that we need to just, as Africans, start um, embracing the the, the 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 idea of death. You know, because those that have noticed, they would tell you that someone has seen the weakness and they've turned death into an industry. And, you know, it is, it is so unnecessary that people must be spending their, their so hard and money in, in death. Death is just like Kulu said earlier, just another ritual on your timeline. It is just another rite of passage in your timeline. Just embrace it as an event that takes place on earth. Nothing to fear, nothing to run away from so that people go around investing in them, not dying. There's no such thing, okay? So graduate yourself from the fear of death. And as a, as, 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 uh, look, look forward to it rather, you know, prepare for it. Be what you need to be in the time you are allowed here on earth. So when that day comes, you can live in peace and you don't have to be making noise from the other side, harassing your children about a whole lot of things. Let me just leave it there. Stogoze, Makosi. Stogozan. I said Togoz. Abba? Oh, Makosi. Anyone? Oh, so those are them cool. Um, uh, from my from my part, I think we need a uh, session two. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, session two good network connectivity is going to love us. I hope Eskom is going to love us that day. Um, because I, I think we we've opened um uh, certain discussions that uh. That, that need to be expanded on more particularly uh, with some of the points that have been raised, you know, uh, today, you know, I, I'm hoping that we actually do get a chance to have session two for this, for this uh, follow-up session for, for this session. Um, I will post on our socials in terms of uh, when this will happen. Uh, but yeah, but do please follow us. Uh, I'm gonna allow, uh, I'm gonna, Kulu, to speak after but i just wanted to remind everybody to like share um our page um on all platforms social media um uh, it's a kind of natural uh, healing on youtube facebook as well as on instagram uh, from me now i would like to thank everybody for holding space with us so it's always like a cool. Uh, I wanted also yeah. about to have maybe a last word. Do you have anything to say about lastly? As we suspect not. So with that, we would like to close the session. Yeah, and give um, everyone attention. Oh, go on. Uh, go on. Ukona <laughs> I say, I spoke with Kunabako, who has a good message. Sikona, Sikon, and the list. Young is what? They are 
In closing. Oh, okay. Yes, something. Oh, in closing, Ugufa. Uh, we lost Umkulu. Uh, he is not here with us, but hopefully uh, he will join us during session two. And hopefully we get better network connectivity during that time. Similarly, <laughs> better network connectivity. Um, it's because we didn't have the breathing meditation and we didn't invite our ancestors. We did. <laughs> Should you were gone, we did. We didn't have the pledge. We, oh, we did the meditation. It's the pledge we didn't have. But anyway, Glungi, Glungi. As bona ne kwe desayo, suzon mema futi, nanin meme nabanye, li kule ibanja, lo kulu ma ikaniso. Obasi, sis vezela nja ma ikaniso, ngo we si intu asi, we are not being, acting greater than others or doing whatever. We are not just creating content as people like to do these days with social media. It's not just a content thing. It's about uh, increasing the wisdom about us and taking things uh, seriously, the things that are ours and getting rid of ama hangups, ama colonial hangups, a lot of colonial things that we are practicing, thinking that we are we, we are returning, we are decolonizing and see business no services loop. So Sitoko Zagakulu, a Nibe no Sugu Olu Shenonke, Ukanye, Ube Tosi, Ube Embo.